Is that your tree coming up over here? I think so, or is it? Hello. <coughs> oh. it was yesterday. It's live now. Yeah, my, yeah, you're on now. Thank you. Oh, there we go. My heavens, we're on. We are on. Okay. Okay. Well, <clears throat> until the dogs come in or whatever. This is today's newspaper. Headed up with Cranky Acres Farm at the top for different. Pasta had a touch of reunion with his sister, who promptly fit his face. Pasta and his sister came from the same horse auction down the Carolinas, and they hadn't seen each other since they were separated a month ago. However, Pasta lives in Ipswich, and his sister, Willa, lives in Hamilton, next town down. So we got them together at 5 p.m. mail call online somewhere. The introduction to Pasta to Willa, whom he had not seen, was interesting. First of all, she is a big girl, much bigger than he is, although they are both eating the same Purina puppy food. She apparently gets fed more regularly than Pasta. I sometimes forget his lunch, but I do give him a small meal at 5 a.m. We had a discussion about don't let her get any fatter along with he gets so much more exercise trying to keep up with his three adult veins. Uh, how heavy? He's plenty heavy enough now to finally set off the seatbelt buzzer when he sits in the passenger seat. Willa did not recognize Pasta at first as he ran over and licked her face and ran around the business end of an introduction and dogs. She was offended and took a few minutes before they finally got playing the proper bitey face of sibling behavior, rolling around and falling off the sofa. All was perfect until my really big 170 pound harlequin uh, malarkey came in and she flew backwards saying, what the heck is that big white thing? And she didn't really recover for the remaining 20 minutes, slinking out the door past the big white thing. They are going to join us for the senior visits. I bet people will love to watch the interaction of the pups. We still have to work on that. Willa will have to learn to go get a cookie. Probably it will not take too much of a challenging training session. In my effort to do what I can to amuse and entertain, it seems a good idea to take her with us to the senior visits. Everything, anything different to encourage conversations in these senior drop-in and daycare centers. We try and have a hundred people a week pat and feed cookies to our dogs. This past week, we just made the quota of 102 between the Beverly Council on Aging and Peabody Rainbow Rehab. We do get around, and being Danes, they never are, they never can get too full for another round of cookies. So that's our picture, even. That's Lockie getting a cookie out of the frying pan from the little old person there. Okay. What's that? <laughs> oh, there we go. <clears throat> okay. Moving on. Hopefully, quickly, because for some reason I was up all night. <laughs> so I'm going to be an early evening. Okay, that's, we don't need that. <laughs> and uh, I don't think we need that one. Mosquito squad. <laughs> I have that very good mosquito deal of blowing through a net, a piece of mosquito netting, make it into a funnel, and attach it to a fan, and then blow the wind through. I call more mosquitoes. Like, if you can have anything like a light bulb on the inside. They can really catch mosquitoes that way. That's interesting. <laughs> and then we don't need this. Yeah. Toyota owner. We get a lot of those Toyota owner things. And this 
is the town of Ipswich. Town of Ipswich? What the hell is a town of Ipswich? Oh, it's a real estate taxi. <laughs> That must be what this one is, too, then. <laughs> okay, do I, am I going to get comments here? I get I'm comments? watching him. Huh? I'm watching him. A couple of people are just saying hi. I think people said you're probably tired from all the equine we did yesterday. <laughs> yesterday when we had all the equine outside. Uh -huh. Chasing them around. They said you're probably tired from that. Oh. Chasing them around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have a box. Oh, this is from Jim Homier. I don't know where he lives. I have a feeling it's somewhere out on the West Coast. This is my friend who's trying to get me into welding. And I, I really am very enthusiastic about the whole project. It's just I haven't... I've been busy the last little bit here. We'll get there eventually. They were asking if we had any boxes. Huh? If we had any boxes. I, I don't see any boxes. No. Oh, they asked where the dogs are. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I remember that thing. That's a puzzle. They ask where the house dogs are. Huh? The house dogs. The house dogs? Where the house dogs are. Hmm. The house dogs. Oh, not, are they up yet? No, they're outside. Huh? They were asking where the house dogs are. Oh, well, they're outside. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we get them in in a few minutes. Oh, my word. Some wooden toys to play with. Okay, I'm on it. Jim, thank you. That'll keep me busy. I'll be sitting down type thing. Thank you, James. Okay. Let me call the dogs and see whether I can get them in. Oh. <clears throat> hey, dog, come! Mom pasty. Is Yeah. You. Oh, boys. Not, not too hard. Okay, everybody in the house. Go. In the house. Get. Pasty. Very pasty. Oh, boy. Pasta. Yes, he's good Yes, he's very good. Okay, in the house. Go. In the house. Go. Yeah. Okay. They're happy to be outside. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, the signal was going in and out. 
The cell signal was going All in. All cell for the evening. <laughs> okay, good night, everybody.